Okay, guys, we're back at the shop. We're uh, tramming our mill head in. We're basically in a little less than nine inches. We're less than a half thousandths. So which means we're going to be working in a circle about uh, about an inch in uh, 93 thousandths. It's just a little less, a little less than a half thousandths in nine inches. You can see we're just on that side of zero. It's pretty darn good. Uh, it's almost perfect in three positions. Okay, today we're uh, rod boring. This is, this is a 440 Chrysler rod. It's a uh, customer tried pressing his own bushings on. This could happen to anybody. So I'm not throwing him under the bus. But what we're going to do is we're going to fix that rod where it's displaced and we're going to full float it. Uh, Wayne's drilling for full floating. We're going to put a bushing in this rod. We've got some really nice Amco material. I'll give you the specs on it later. Uh, the same kind of material they put in uh, NASCAR connecting rods for pin bushings. Thanks a lot. I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're getting a rod fixture positioned back in the uh, mill. You can see this is two and a half inch. Now this has been modified. It's for uh, like I'm put aluminum rods, or sometimes we've used uh, doweled bearings and steel rods. Uh, so this has been notched to clear uh, gal bearings, but for, we don't need it for this job. So we're getting our fixture set up. We'll be back. Okay, guys, we've got a rod in there. We're indicated in. We're fixing to set up our uh, boring bar uh, lined up in the fixture, and we'll be back. Thank you, get Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, um, what was that comment, Wayne? These Mopar, Mopar guys, what? Mopar rods got pretty good. Oh, they do. Yeah, they're pretty good steel. American steel, not Chinese. We're making our first cut. We're just taking a skim cut. We're getting down to the area that's kind of galled it up, where the guy got the pin galled it up in there. We're going to come down to there. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm going to take a heavier cut this time. Okay guys, we're boring it out. Some of you guys may have not seen this before. Uh, using a boring head is what I'm referring to. This is uh, pretty precise. I've got my center to center all dialed off. So when I put this bushing in, I'm going to put it in so the center is right. And we're going to, of course, we're doing this before we recon all the rods. So when we recon all them, that'll all be the same. Okay. Hope my fan don't blow the uh, camera over.
you can see down there we got you can see that shoulder that's the material we're boring out Now I'm going to shut this off before I retract it because I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to hold it on that tool bit so I don't get a retraction mark out of the bore. There you go. Doesn't drag. Using the trusty snap gauge. This is the uh, bushing. I'll get the material for it. Give that to you guys, tell you what I'm using. I'm going to start touching here just a few seconds. It's kind of a time consuming operation, but this is the only way I have for boring rods. And uh, they make machines to do this. In this particular case, I'm using my mail. And um, this has been done before. Um, there's a lot of uh, precision hole boring that's been done with a Bridgeport type mill. My particular mill is an Enco. It's a pinnacle. It's actually made in Taiwan. I've uh, had it for many years. It's still in perfect condition. Anyway, so I'm going to finish boring this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, there we have it. Got about one and a half thousandths press. One and six tenths. There's our bushing. Just sits right down there on top. We got a little chamfer on our bushing. Want to champ chamfer the rod. Ready to press that in. I'll be back. I wanted to see what show you what this looks like. I'll bolt it down, lash down.